um, in building that program, how important is the weight room yeah, um, to, to get your players on that right track? Well, you, you can't be a very good football team if you're not very good in the weight room. I've yeah. been around really good football teams that were really, really hard workers in the weight room. And I've been around some football teams that weren't as hard working in the weight room and, and the success wasn't there for them. So, you know, we're, we're getting after the weight room. Weight mm -hmm. room is extremely important. Our guys are starting to understand, you know, Coach Keeper did a great job of getting guys to buy into the weight room. We're building off of it. We're doing some things that we did when we did it. But our kids have really bought into it. Uh, we had a great, great day today in the weight room. We've had a great two and a half weeks this summer since since we began, since school got out, and I'm really excited. Our guys are getting bigger, they're getting stronger, and, and uh, you know, hopefully that's going to carry over onto the field. Great, great. Uh, those players working hard in the weight room. Talk about some guys you expect to have a, a big season for Absolutely. you. Absolutely, we've got we've got a rising junior, Derek Boykins. He's picked up a couple of uh, Division One offers, FCS schools already, and mm -hmm. I talked to some coaches at the FBS level, and and they think that he's getting ready to blow up if he can get a, a good couple of three or four games, I think that he's really starting to blow up. He's going to be the next big guy that you hear about. Okay. We've got a senior quarterback, Grayson Baker. He's 6'4", about a buck 85. Mm -hmm. He's athletic. He's got a cannon of an arm. Um, he's he, We're, we're going to do special things with him. I'm, I'm really excited about him. Uh, we've got a, a free safety, Justin Underwood, who I believe was an all-conference player for them last year. He's not the biggest guy mm -hmm. uh, on the field, but let me tell you, he's the kind of guy you want if you get into a bar fight, man. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he's, he's a strong, tough joker. Mm -hmm. uh, Hakeem, uh, Hakeem Blakeney is a linebacker that was all-conference for us last year. Uh, Dawson uh, Balcom is an offensive lineman. Brandon Hamilton are offensive linemen seniors that I'm really excited about. Dawson's had a heck of a spring, a heck of a summer so far. You know, But I, I'm really excited, man. I, I think that, that we've got a great group of kids who are gelling well together. Their coaches are gelling well together. We're putting together a great staff here at Central Cabarrus, a great staff who love our kids, who love our players. And I'm really excited to see what the future holds for these young men. That's great, Coach. Uh, my last question, what's the team goal for Central Cabarrus this season? Well, you know, I mean, we, we don't talk about um, – state championships or we don't talk about conference championships necessarily we don't talk about a number of wins that we want but, but we have five goals mm -hmm. you know goal number one is we always want to win uh the season opener okay goal number two we want to win all of our home games we want to make central Cabarrus a place you know dick jordan field a place where other teams don't want to come and play mm -hmm. goal three we want to win the county games mm -hmm. you know we play an all county conference but we have some non-conference county schools as well yeah we want to win the county and then our fourth goal is to win the conference. Mm -hmm. you know, and then we talk about we want to make a run in the playoffs. And, it, and if, if we're working hard to win our week one game, if we're working hard to win our home football games, then those other things are going are gonna to carry over and we're going to be successful. But we don't put a win total on there. I'll, I'll never put a win total on there. But mm -hmm. we want kids to give their best. Kids are giving their best. And, and, and whenever they get to a certain level, we're going to push them to get to the next level. Great, Coach. Great. And I, I really love the tempo today and what yeah. I saw at practice. You got things going in the right direction. We definitely appreciate the time. Yes, sir. You know, we, we talk about, we tell them that if you got to run sprints after practice, mm -hmm. your coach didn't work you hard enough in practice. <laughs> you know, we, we want, we're going to go fast in the weight room. We're going to go pra fast on the practice field. We got a segment timer that keeps everything down. Every every minute of practice mm -hmm. is pre-scheduled ahead of time. So guys know where they're headed. Coaches know where they're headed. We're not waiting around. We're getting water on the go. We're moving fast because we're going to play fast. And we want right. to be efficient with the time that we have. So I've been really impressed with the way that our guys have responded to that, that they're starting to realize. In fact, you know, they're starting to see other teams. We're set on seven again. So like, Coach, mm -hmm. man, they're going so slow. Why are they going so slow? <laughs> Tell them to hurry up. Like our defense is getting impatient. You know, and, and they're seeing some benefits already to the speed that we practice at and we work out with. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's going to be to our benefit. Of course, everybody's going fast nowadays, but, right. but we want to be even faster. We want to be able to uh, adjust the tempo and slow it down when needed and speed it up when needed. Uh, but our kids have really responded. I've been really, really impressed with them.